Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to go over a tutorial for a very easy, simple smoky eye using a palette that costs like $15. It's the Carly Bible Palette by BH Cosmetics. So if you want to see how I got this look and how to do a really, really, really simple, easy, peasy, smoky eye, then please keep watching. Okay, first I'm going to start with this Becca Ultimate Coverage Concealing Cream in Praline. It's really good at hiding all of the veins on my eyelids. See the difference? I wipe the excess underneath my eye, like right kind of on my lash line. So my favorite way to make sure that everything is blended out is to start with the lightest color and work it into your crease. That way anything you add on top of that, you have a foundation where it won't look like such a harsh line. So I'm going to take this lighter matte shade on the top So you have that to start with. Next I'm gonna take a synthetic haired brush and use this bronzy color for my lid. It's really, really pretty and really, really pigmented. Next I'm going to take another blending brush and start working in this darker purple. So I focused it mostly on the outer V of my eye and then I just dragged it inwards the tiniest bit so that there's a shade of the darker purple going in. Next I'm gonna take a more dense brush and pick up the darkest shade of purple here at the end. And I'll put that a, a little bit more here on the outer V of my eye just to add a little bit more depth. This I am not dragging inwards, I'm leaving it right on the outside. That is super, super simple, and now all I have to do is take a clean, fluffy brush. I like to go over everything and make sure everything is blended and there's no harsh lines. So next I'm going to go in with my eyeliner. I'm going to use um, the Kat Von D ink liner in Trooper. I just want to point out that my wings are not equal. All wings are not created equal. Anyway, I just wanted to kind of touch on how to clean that up and fix that if that happens to you because it happens to me all the time. So usually what I'll do is just take a small brush like this and put some eye makeup remover on it, just a little bit, and then just go in and reshape it how you need to. So that's a bit better. So I've been having a love-hate relationship with this Kat Von D liner. I've ended up having to go over it with this Tardis eyeliner. I love this and I love that, but the combination of them is great. If I use this on its own, my eyelids are a little bit too oily where it kind of gets everywhere, but it's super black and easy to put on. So I've been using it over top the Kat Von D liner just to make everything extra black, make sure there are no patchy areas. Okay, so a while back when Sephora was having one of their sales, and I think it was like a 30% sale, they had, and I actually think that I saw it when I was in there the other day, that they still have the little duo where you can buy these. These are the clay paint liners. It came with the two-in-one and the little brush, and this is the bronze one. So I really have been liking this. When I'm not using it on the top, I really like using it on the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do and smoke it out with a shadow from the Carly Bible palette. Just take a little on your brush and put a line underneath. Um, I'm going to take that same bronze color that I put on the lid with a pencil brush. I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line.
I'm gonna take this little brush and use this color right here as the highlight on my inner corner. And now I'm going to add mascara. Lately I've been loving the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. I switch around mascaras all the time. I'm never sold on one. Am I the only person who doesn't curl their lashes? That's a stupid statement because like everybody I know doesn't really curl their lashes, but I feel like a lot of people who love makeup do curl their lashes, but I just never do. And I also don't ever wear fake lashes. On special occasions I do, but I just feel like because my eyes are so small and kind of deep set, that they just always end up looking so strange on me. Only a few pairs that are more on the natural side look good. I envy the girls that can wear huge, thick, awesome lashes. <sighs> they just don't look good on me. This palette comes with the 10 eyeshadow shades and also the four highlight shades. It's amazing because it will work well for many different skin tones. I'm going to use this lighter one and highlight my cheeks and my nose as per usual, but I hadn't done it yet because I was waiting to use this palette. <laughs> okay. How's that work for you? Are you blind? Put on some sunglasses. To finish off the look, I'm gonna use Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar Lip Gloss. It's a great formula, high shine, very creamy and pigmented. It is, even though those words are so annoying sometimes. Anyway, this is the final result. You cannot go wrong with this palette. Seriously, it's like 12, I wanna say 12.95, it might be 14.95. Um, you can get it at Beach Dust. No, you can get it at bhcosmetics.com or if you live near an Ulta, then go there and pick it up because I think that they're selling them there and then you don't have to pay for shipping, so perfect. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. All of my social media, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook is all GRL meets beauty. It will all be linked below as well. And of course, do not forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye! This life is a beautiful world And though I've seen it coming undone Well I know most definitely